Hello everyone and welcome back to another Escape from Tarkov video. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you how to optimize your computer as well as optimize your in-game settings for the best performance in Escape from Tarkov. Without further ado, let's move on. Next, what you're going to be doing is going to Game Bar, disabling the Game Bar. You're going to want to go to the Captures and disable the Captures. Next, you want to go to Game Mode. In my personal experience and the experiences that I've had before, I used to have this on all the time until just recently. I turned this off because it doesn't really seem to do anything because you can turn off a lot of these background processes when in Task Manager. You're going to want to go into the graphics. The graphics is where the biggest changes have came from this whole thing. Um, obviously, setting your games to high performance also really helps aside from doing that in the NVIDIA control panel, which we will be showing a little later. You're going to want to do this. If you play your games in full screen, you're going to want to have hardware accelerated GPU scheduling. This may vary from computer to computer. Some have benefits, some do not. In my experience, I did not have any benefits and it made mine a little bit more stuttery, so I turned it off. This I, is something that I don't know when they added, but I just turned it on because I play like 90% of my games in borderless because I all tab a lot because I'm always just doing something in the background of playing video games. And like streaming and whatnot so having this on for me definitely helped i turned it on and i tested it myself and it works great especially in tarkov next thing we're going to be doing is entering the window to run so you're going to hold the windows key and tap r and what that'll do is percent temp and you're going to want to clear all of these folders these are all folders that aren't necessary on your computer so you're going to want to delete them do this for all the items and just skip them once that's done and you have the files, you're going to want to go to here and delete them because you don't want them to be there. Next, we're going to be doing the edit power plan. You're going to change advanced power settings and you're going to want to change this to the highest available. If you do not have ultimate performance, I can leave a command in the description or in the comments and I'll have it pinned and uh, you can type that in there and set it there. I'm not sure if it'll be any different for Intel, but I am running an AMD CPU. Next, what we're going to be doing is the task manager. In the task manager, you're going to go to startup apps, sort by enabled, and just go through and disable a bunch of stuff. It's up to you on what you need and what you feel the need to want. It's all personal preference, but just disable a bunch of things you might not want active. Next, you're going to want to go to your NVIDIA control panel for NVIDIA users. If you have an AMD GPU, I don't really know how to help you or and or settings to recommend. But for my NVIDIA users, I have you set up here. You're going to want to go to manage 3D settings. But before you do that, you're going to want to make sure you use the advanced 3D image settings so that way the settings we actually set up are being utilized. These are my personal settings. If you feel the need to change anything, you are more than welcome to. And if you see something that, you know, I could be fucking up on or change stuff just because it could give me better performance, you can let me know in the comments. This is pretty much about everything I have. And these are the settings I'd recommend because they've worked for me. You're going to go to Configure Surround Physics. Make sure you select your GPU. Go to your Change Resolution. And what you're going to want to do is typically where it says the Ultra stuff, that's not really the native. You want to scroll down here until you see PC. That's going to be your native resolution. And make sure your refresh rate is set to the highest available by your monitor. Next, I would recommend is going to your NVIDIA color settings, setting it to the highest of 32-bit, RGB, and limited. Next, on the adjust desktop and size, on your main monitor, you're going to make sure you want full screen, override it by the GPU, and make sure everything is set properly. Oops, do not do that. On the second monitor, doesn't really matter, but yeah. And then if you want to change any of this other stuff, you can... All up to you. Now we're going to be moving on to the in-game settings. Now for the in-game settings of Tarkov, first things first is you're going to want to go to your logs. Clear your logs if you haven't already. I do this pretty often. So for me, it's just, it's natural to do it like every few days or so. So that's something I do. And one thing you're also going to want to do is clear your cache. And once that's done, you just play. Great. Now that we're in-game, what we're going to be doing is going to your Tarkov, right-clicking the Escape from Tarkov EXE, and left-clicking on Properties. 
you're going to want to go to compatibility, disable the full screen optimizations. And if you want to add more one to one with your mouse, I don't know how beneficial this is in Tarkov, like how well this really affects the mouse or if it really adds a benefit. I know in other games, it definitely works a little better, but in my experience with Tarkov, it doesn't really seem to do anything, but you can mess with that if you feel the need to. Me personally, I just have disable full screen optimizations because that's what works for me. Onto the actual settings. In game, uh, these are just my settings, but FOV, I set to 40 to 45 because sometimes there are bugs with the FOV in game and I prefer high, uh, high FOV, so I use 74. Next, for the graphics. For those of you that are interested in changing the aspect ratio in Tarkov, you do so by the aspect ratio. Do not do it by the screen resolution unless you want it to alter the resolution of your game. It will then give you probably more frames, but then again, it's like personal preference. I love the quality of 1440p, but I love 43 aspect ratio, so this is what I chose. There's a shit ton of options you can go through and see for yourself, but these are just mine. I do play borderless, as I said earlier in the video. I play on high textures, low shadows, and pretty much low everything else and or off. If there's any sort of settings in here that you feel like I should try to turn on or experience, uh, then let me know. Next up, post effects. I personally don't use post effects. I tweak my monitor settings to how I like them and I kind of just leave it. That's just what I use. Sound, I leave binaural on. I have music on with the music off because why not? Uh, I have mine set to 60 just for generally because it tends to just, you hear less of like the weird background noises that make you feel schizophrenic. It's just a preference. If you like yours high, then fuck it, we ball. Just go high, doesn't matter, it's up to you. Controls. These are my preferred settings. Uh, these are very much going to change in the future eventually because I do that every now and then. I happen to always change my settings somehow, some way. But this is what I'm currently rocking. Feel free to need to pause. I will scroll through them. And that is pretty much it. Now for the last thing I would recommend are some extra softwares. This is extra, not really necessary, but I think something that has also definitely helped is Process Lasso. This shit has come in clutch while using Tarkov and a million other games actually. So this is something I would personally recommend, but is not necessary. You are more than free to use this, it does not negatively affect your performance, and will only help. If you are interested, when you download it, what you're gonna to wanna to be doing is unchecking Pro Balance, and go to Active Processes. You wanna make sure Tarkov is open. I will open it back up. One second, I will do a jump cut. Great, now that Tarkov is open, you're gonna to go to Process Lasso, find Escape from Tarkov. You're gonna to wanna to right click it, go to CPU Affinity, and always. I'm not sure what the difference is between disable SMT and none, but I was recommended for Ryzen CPUs, you wanna try disable SMT. If that doesn't work for you and you're getting little micro stutters, try none. Another thing you're gonna wanna do in the Escape from Tarkov is right click, CPU priority, current, and high. That's really about it. Allowing the CPU to have more usage for Tarkov gives you better frames, which is good. That's pretty much about it. Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoy these kind of videos and would like to see more, consider subscribing, commenting, and letting me know what you liked. If there's any other suggestions you have, make sure and leave them in the comments below. I love you all. Thank you all so much, and I'll see you all later. Where the balls, big bro? Where the peen at? Need a prostate massage, trying to relax. Uh -huh. Thinking to his booty, man, I think I might relax. Yeah. Clap cheeks on stream, yeah. I seen that. Have you seen that clip where the guy rides on the guy with another guy? Then he blows a guy about 39 times. Then he cries because it's in his eyes. Then he slides it back inside his thighs. Because I did, and yeah, it was awesome. It was. There was one guy on top and on bottom. On bottom. Gripping on a sack, he was gripping on a
on his cheeks like Batman and Gotham. Batman. 